In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how the branch pinning feature works in iMindMap 6. Branch pinning allows you to pin your branches to the iMindMap workspace so that they are not affected by surrounding branches when smart layout is used. This is particularly useful for ensuring that specific information stays in the same place on your mind map. In order to pin a branch to your mind map, you firstly select the branch and then right click, then go to pin branch and then select pin branch. You will see that a red pin icon now appears on the branch that you have pinned. When I now try to move another branch towards this first branch, you will notice that the branch itself remains in the same place, like so. To remove the pin from the branch, you simply need to select the branch, right click on it, and then go to unpin branch, and then unpin branch. You will now see that if I try to move the second branch towards the first one, it will now move automatically, like so. You can also pin a child branch's parent branch, as well as the child branches, all in one go by selecting the main branch, right clicking on it, going to pin branch, and then pin branch and children. You will now notice that the pin icon appears on all of the branches. And you will notice that if I try to move the, another main branch towards this main branch, it will remain in the same place. Also, when a branch is pinned, you will notice that the blue target icon which allows you to move the branch has now become greyed out and unclickable. You can remove a branch from your branches by right clicking the branch, going to unpin and then selecting unpin branch and children. You will now see that you can move the branch again.